Hey guys, uh, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I'm going to be bringing you an update on my two Drosera sundews. Uh, you can see here uh, we have my uh, Drosera coccolis. Uh, probably not saying that right, but we'll refer to this guy as the Alba. And then this one over here is the, the Drosera venusta. Um, I've had these for probably about 60 days now, um, maybe a little bit longer than that. Um, since I got these from Predatory Plants and I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update, uh, kind of how, how they're growing, how they look. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, real quick though, before we get started into that guys, uh, I'm really trying hard to uh, work up the experience um, and get a little, some extra money to open up my own carnivorous plant nursery. Um, anything you do with this video, whether it's subscribing to my channel, liking the video, um, just watching this video. Uh, that's all great and it really helps support me so I really appreciate that and I appreciate you being here. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see updates on this, these plants here, uh, these beautiful Drosera uh, sundew plants uh, and then also all my other carnivorous plants which includes uh, different kinds of Nepenthes, uh, Venus flytraps, um, some Saracenia, uh, all kinds of different stuff but definitely make sure to check out my channel and thanks a lot for being here. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about these Drosera and let me show you real quick guys what they look like when I pull them out of the box from uh, Predatory Plants. Okay, now that you've kind of seen what they look like on day one, um, this is kind of the update for you guys. Uh, this is the 60 day update. Uh, so yeah, here they are. Uh, you can see they're definitely growing. They're definitely getting bigger. Um, you can see I got some pretty crazy flower stalks coming out here, especially um, out of the Alba. And actually, hold on, <clears throat> you can't really see the flower, so I'm gonna put this black thing here. There we go. Now you can kind of see how big. Let me see if I can get back here a little bit. You can kind of get an idea of how tall those <laughs> those flower stalks are they're probably about I don't know a foot and a half probably getting pretty close to two feet but <clears throat> I think I'm going to actually uh, try to get some seeds from the, these guys uh, I'm still kind of exploring the best option to do that with the flower uh, one person that I saw said that they put a little once they the flowers are pollinated uh, they put a little baggie around them um, and then they uh, that way when the seeds eventually fall off uh, they will just fall into the little baggie. They just tie it around the stalk and the, the head of the plant. So I think I might try that. Um, if anybody has a better suggestion on how to get the, the seeds, um, definitely let me know. Um, and I'm certainly open to suggestions as it's not something that I've done before. So uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, these guys are growing good. Uh, I've been giving them lots of water. Uh, they're growing in long fiber sphagnum moss, which is the moss that came with the plants from Predatory Plants. Uh, they've been doing a good job growing. <clears throat> and at the end, when I first got them, they actually did a really good job of uh, keeping dew on them. Right now, I think we're kind of in the middle of winter. And I'm having a hard time keeping the humidity up for these guys because of uh, where they're at with, with the lights that they need. And then also the shelf that I have that has more humidity is a little bit too low for these flower stalks. So I had to move them up um, to a different shelf. Uh, so they're not getting as much humidity as they were before. And I think you can kind of see here that there's a little bit of dew on them. Um, but not as much as I would like, uh, especially if we were in the summertime, it would really bother me. Uh, you can see they're still catching bugs. You can see all the gnats down there. So there's enough dew to at least catch the bugs. But I would definitely like to see uh, these guys with a little more dew. So as soon as I collect the, uh, these, these uh, seeds from the flowers, I'll be moving them back down to the area that has more humidity uh, so that they can start to collect, so they can uh, generate a little more dew, uh, catch more bugs. We don't have a lot of bugs right now uh, since we're in the middle of winter. There's a few gnats flying around in there because of the, the Venus flytraps and, and all the other plants in there, but there's just not a ton of, of flies and gnats right now. So um, they're catching enough, but uh, I don't think the dew is as important right now in the middle of winter as it will be uh, in the upcoming summer. Uh, even though these plants don't go through dormancy, uh, that's probably one thing to note. Uh, these are not a dormant plants, so I won't need to put these into any type of cold dormancy or anything. But yeah, you can see, I think this one here, I think the Alba has a couple of plants. Um, I think since, let's pull this one out, like, get a little messy here, but I'll be able to show you guys kind of. Looks like um, there's probably another one right here. I don't know 
if that's focusing, but you can see down there, it looks like there's a second plant right there growing. Um, there could be even two or three here, because if you look on this side too, you know, it looks like there might be one there. That's its own plant. There's another flower coming up right there. So I think there might be two or three. Once I once this gets a little bit bigger, probably this summer or, or late spring, I'll probably uh, replant this and then split these up, you know, so I can have some new uh, sundew plants. Um, this one here, the, Venus, the Venusta is definitely growing, um, but it's, it's not doing quite as well. Um, it doesn't have as much growth. Uh, the flower stalk kind of stopped growing, um, which I don't think is a very good sign. Uh, so <clears throat> I kind of want to, I think I'm going to cut that flower stalk off and then get this one down on the humidity sooner than I get the, the Alba. But you can see there's another flower stalk growing. I mean, it does have new growth points. Uh, so it's not, it's not dying or anything. It's just not thriving like I would like it. Um, and I really think it just kind of comes down to the, the humidity. And also the room that I have these guys in stays warmer than the other rooms in the house, but it's still not, it's not like in the seventies and eighties, like I'd like it to be. It's, it stays closer to, um, probably between 60 and 65 for most of the day. So they're not in a lot of heat, um, but they are in, they're under a lot of heat when I have the lamp on them or my, my Vipar Spectre grow light. Um, but when I turn that light off for, you know, the other, you know, 10 to 12 hours that they're uh, not getting that light, I think it's, it's it's usually about 60, 65 degrees in there. So uh, it's probably not quite as warm as they would typically like to be for a tropical sundew plant. But yeah, so I think what I'll do here is uh, real quick, uh, I've showed you guys the plants. I think I'll take a moment to uh, show you where they've been resting and just kind of show you a couple of my other plants and show you around my my grow shelf that I call it. I, I would love to be able to call it a grow room, but right now it's just kind of a shelf. Um, and then I'll show you guys kind of what I mean by um, the shelf that I have the humidifier under. It's just a little too uh, short for these flowers, but yeah, let's go check that out. Okay guys, here we go. So here they are in their natural habitat. Um, <laughs> natural habitat being the most natural it gets for my house. Obviously it's not where they naturally live, but um, just to give you kind of an idea of where they are, um, there's my Vipar Spectra uh, grow light. It's, they're probably, I don't know, probably two, two or three feet away from the light. Uh, and the flower stalks are obviously getting a lot closer um, to the light than the, the plant is. But um, here maybe you can see the flowers just a little bit better. It was kind of hard to see in that last place I had them, but now you can see the, the flowers a little better there. Um, but this is my grow area. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a video um, with some of these other plants here pretty soon. I'm going to be doing a video on this Venus flytrap here that's really struggling. Um, a lot of it has died and has turned black. There's actually two plants here, kind of hard to tell, but um, this one is struggling. I'll be doing a video on it soon. Um, just to kind of show people that, that even experienced growers have problems with plants sometimes. and Sometimes even we can't figure out what the heck is wrong with them, but we'll be talking about that one later. I um, mean, say I got some really nice, healthy Venus flytraps here that are under the same conditions. We've got that one there is growing a flower. Uh, we got these ones here, which are also growing flowers right now. Uh, this one is kind of an experiment and is part of my review for my Vipar Spectre Light. So definitely subscribe to the channel to check out more on that. I got my, my Nepenthes here, which are doing really good. And then I got my second row down here, which is where uh, my humidifier is. I don't have any water right now. I actually turned off this morning. I got to re reload it. But um, this second shelf here is where I have these guys. And they were doing okay because I was moving them back and forth and um, moving them down here during the night and letting the humidifier get to them. But um, the flower stalk just got to be too tall and was going up onto the top there. So I moved them back up here, um, at least for now. And I'll move them back down after I get done harvesting the seeds. But um, here is my um, propagation attempt. It's not going super well. I'll be doing a video on this here today too, just giving you guys an update on that. And then I also might be doing some more, um, attempting more propagation with the flower stalks with uh, these these fresh flowers that I got. So check that out. Uh, that is my Nepenthes that I grew from a baby. Um, there's some of my other Nepenthes, the Platychilla, um, which is doing really awesome. That's a beautiful little plant right there. It's doing great. Um, and I just did a video update on those guys. So uh, make sure and check that video out too. Um, yeah, but so that's kind of where everything is, is growing. Um, giving, trying to give you guys updates on all these plants, um, reviewing my equipment. I'm going to do some more flower stock propagation stuff here. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to film that video in just a minute. So, 
uh, yeah, make sure and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can check out all this stuff. So I can give you more updates on this just just share a sundew plant. Um, check out me replanting these this spring and everything and I didn't even talk about the my, my mini Saracenia I call it now because it won't grow bigger than what it is right there. I can't get it to grow any bigger than that. That's actually the biggest one yet. So maybe there's still hope yet for that plant, but yeah. Again guys, thanks a lot for being here. I appreciate it and I hope to see you soon. Bye.